This is going to require a lot of work here from Emily. There goes the Cloudburst to try to deny the ping, but there was a ping. Holy cow. Jazzy goes down, Leah looking for the second. Oh, <laughs> shocked that straight to the face. Hey guys, this is Annie Duro from Cloud9 White, and today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for playing Sova on Bind, presented by Microsoft. So I like to play Sova on Bind because it's sort of a, uh, it's like a close uh, quarters map. So starting with defense, I think he's really good at getting early info A and then rotating off if there's no noise. There's two really good darts. They're pretty simple and you don't even need lineups for them. Um, I use these all the time, but it's just the full charge bounce right off this wall right here. This gets you a lot of short information early. And if you want to get showers information, you put the two diamonds just on the tips of right here and then a one charge and it lands right outside showers. Say a team likes to just five man across the map, which a lot of teams in ranked, in ranked will do. If there's no present showers, then I can automatically just rotate to B and help my team. I also like to uh, do the same thing. If I want to take showers with a teammate, I'll get right here and then I like to bounce it off the wall, just right here. This gets a lot of early showers control and information too. By the time they see the dart, they're probably like right here and then they see the dart and they have to turn all the way around in which case like me and my buddy are probably gonna swing and kill him. Say uh, you hear like, oh, someone's droning short, you can just bounce one, one charge, boom, that'll break their drone, that'll do a lot of damage. There's also a double shock dart if you put, uh, you have like your right HUD line and you put it um, right where this dot is and you do a one charge. And then your second one, you're just gonna lob, no charge. And this is a double shock dart for short if they're pushing in. This will get me a lot of kills on pistol round for sure. But if they're planning truck, you know, you could just bounce it off. You know, just do a little one charge. You can even aim higher, do no charge. If there's two other people, I like to play heaven pretty much exclusively because that gives me the ability to do a lot of my early info control. I like to hold showers from like right here, maybe jiggle peek. You can also jump peek this. It's really hard to kill you if you're jump peeking. I also like to play in this spot, but this kind of gets util bombed a lot. A lot of the times I, when I play Sova, especially for our team, I'm always looking for like util to break is sometimes I'll just stare at, at a spot that I know that they like to recon and I'll break that and they just like, they have no more info information. A lot of the times, Enemy teams will do smokes right here. And uh, I just like to do like random darts. I like this one up here, just on the corner. This one scans pretty much uh, the run up of short. It scans like all of this pocket area. If they're coming out showers, I'll just do a dart up here or something. I try not to use like lineups. Like I'm never gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna sit in this corner, like double bounce. Like I try to do a lot of the stuff on the fly. I think it's really important that you understand like why you're darting a spot and like when you're darting a spot rather than like, oh, I need to set up in this position and like make it really choreographed because those darts that are super choreographed tend to get less value in my opinion. It's really important that you focus on getting a lot of information with your dart early because it is a refreshable cooldown. When, when you would drone is if it doesn't scan anybody and you look at your mini map or you listen to your teammates at B and they're like, well, there's nothing over here either then I would probably wait five seconds and then I would look to drone either showers or I would drone, you know, just up this truck right here. You can go down short, you can TP. For retake, part of the reason that I really, really like to play A is not only because of all the good positions that you can do from heaven and from sight, but one of the best parts is that if you need to retake, you can do a very, very, very good dart from spawn right here. Pretty much, uh, you want it to land right on this corner, so I do a full charge from spawn. You don't really need a lineup for this one either. This is such a good dart for retaking. I've literally just gotten so many assists. I've gotten so many kills from just doing the, the most simple dart. You can do it from elbow two, say you're smoked off, like they smoke right here, and they're flood in the site. You can just dart above the smoke. You don't really need a lineup. There's actually a lot of darts from elbow that you could do. Um, I'm pretty sure like, if you get into this corner and full charge and you look at this like palm tree leaf, I'm pretty sure this is the god dart. Yeah. You can also do like a little bounce off the wall if you're smoked off. This will kill or hit anybody who's jumping out hookah. You can also do the same thing if they're jumping out hookah. You can even be a little bit hidden. You know, they jump out, 
boom, they take like 90 damage. You can even do like a full charge, just very, very low. Um, this will hit default spot. If I'm playing B, spawn barrier goes up. Uh, one of the best darts that I do is I like to just full charge and do it on this little corner right here. Uh, this gets a lot of info uh, long. If it scans nobody, then I tell my team like, hey, long's clear, like watch your A. You never want to like, you know, get info long and then like drone long because like you're doubling up your util and you generally want to save your util for different positions. Say they broke my dart long, then I would come drone hookah um, and see how many people are there. If there's like three or, f or four or five people there, then I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. Then like I'm probably going to play elbow and I'm going to play a little bit like more like, I guess like ratty and like retakey. If uh, they take the site, then I sort of back off and my number one priority is staying alive until I have another recon for the retake. So I'm going to talk about how to use his ultimate in a segment presented by Microsoft. So generally, if I'm on defense and I have my ultimate, I like to play A with it uh, for another reason that if they're coming up short, this is like a huge lane right here. So even if I paired it with the dart that I like to do short right here and say I get pings or they're droning, Ulting this lane, super, super good, because you get you get so much value from it. Like, I can clear all of U-Haul, all of uh, the little cubby right there, and I can clear all of short. Another ult that you could do is, um, especially if they're flooding in from long, you have this whole lane. This is actually a really good because it gets, like, two lanes. You get people who are jumping out hookah, you get people who are coming into long, and you also get people who are late long. So you get this whole lane right here. You can also do a little bit aim up for like hookah or if they're in the site, then you can also stall the plant right here. If you're playing elbow, it's also really good if they're taking long. You have this whole long lane right here. And if you're new to the game, you don't really like have an understanding of like where you need to aim, uh, just ping it. Like a lot of the times I, I still do this, I just ping before I want to ult, you know? And look, I just immediately know where I need to aim. Especially if you're doing like, um, versus like a KJ ultimate, um, always ping the KJ ultimate because you don't want to be that guy who, you know, aims a little too high for the KJ ultimate and all of your team gets detained and they're looking at you. If I have ult, it's, uh, since it's a really, really high cost ultimate, I try to get the most value with it. Even like stalling the plant right now with Silva ult is kind of not really worth it because it's such a high cost ultimate. Because generally you want to get at least one kill with your ultimate for it to actually be valuable. Attacking with Silva is a little bit different from defense in that uh, in defense you really want to focus on your darts. Whereas with uh, attack, you really want to focus on your drones. It's really important that if you're droning, you're droning for other people. The best drones are when you use your recon to take a position, say like, I recon showers, it's clear, and then my team's with me, and we're like, okay, we're gonna hit A, then I would drone out A. Because what I'm doing is I'm using my dart to get early control, and then I'm using my drone to actually get, into, get us into the site. Because what happens a lot of the time, especially against really, really good players, is if you just fire the same dart over and over. If I was playing against myself, I just I get nothing off this dart. I just break that dart. There's two darts that are pretty simple. Line yourself up on this little corner right here. You know, make yourself flush. And then you look at the corner of this little satellite dish, just right on the corner. One bounce and then one charge. And then boom, just goes right through that hole. So it gets early showers control. But a lot of the time, if you do that once, they're gonna break it out pretty much every time. So a lot of the time what I do is spawn barrier goes up and I run immediately to, I see this wall right here. And when before I see this wall, I'm charging it up and I'm doing one bounce. This one is a lot harder to break. It's a lot faster and it gets pretty much the same information. So I like to vary my darts. I hate droning from this position because I've gotten raise grenaded, raise ulted, Sova ulted, Sova shock darted from this position position so many times that I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna come on this side instead. So I like to drone from this position instead. Getting hookah control, it's pretty much the same as getting short control. If I'm like, hey, I'll drone you into hookah. I usually do it from like back here. I also like to fly low. If I was like droning up here and they shot it from sight, 
then I wouldn't be able to clear Hookah. After I get Hookah control, that's when I can use my dart for sight. Generally, I I just like will dart wherever. <laughs> like I just try to dart wherever they're, I think they're not gonna break it. Like you can dart right here. This clears like this corner, clears all of back sight. I time it with literally, we're jumping into sight with the dart landing on the wall so that they have to turn and look at it. That's if I'm taking Hookah, but generally I feel like Silva's really good at taking long. This one is not is less of a lineup, but I like to go until I can like kind of see the uh, little sign right here. And I like to do like right on the bottom corner, full charge, one bounce. And this gets a lot of good control because it scans all of long. It also scans all of Octo. The only problem is if you start doing this a lot, um, it's pretty easy to break. A lot of the times if teams break that and we're like, oh, we still need long control. Well, what do you know? You have a teammate with you, you drone them up like this. It also clears this cubby. I really like to drone and clear that cubby as a priority. A lot of the times if they're breaking my dart early and I know that we want to take long control, I don't even dart. I just run up, you know, run up with my teammate. I just get ready to drone it. I don't even dart. And then once we have the control, I like to dart this little corner right up here. If you want to dart into tube, you can do it a little bit lower. And there's actually like a neat trick that I like to do with shock darts. If you are looking at this wall, obviously you can shock dart cubby if there's somebody right there. But if there's people backsight, I like to do double shock darts off of this wall. They land backsight. This is really, really good. This will, I've gotten so many kills just doing this. You just kind of aim like uh, at the window and double. And then if you want to aim in tube, you do the same thing, except you aim at the blue line right here. Um, and just like anywhere in the middle. Blue line, boom, boom. This gets in tube. Really good if you have a tackle. Pretty good lane. You can clear elbow. You can clear sight. I wouldn't recommend ulting in hookah. Very, very uh, risky because you get TP'd on, you get pinched. You don't really want to save your ult for post plant as Sova as much. If I'm on attack and I get my ult pretty early in the half, I look for one pick. I just look for that one entry pick. I look for like, oh, ping a guy U-Haul, I'm going to kill this guy. I try to focus less on like lineups and I try to focus more on like positions you can play, positions that are good to dart so that you can do them from other positions. So I think anybody anybody can play Sova. So if you want to combo with Sova with your ranked duo or with a friend, uh, Sova's really good with a duelist. You eliminate a lot of like the scary angles when you're a duelist. On defense, I'm looking to get them pushed up somewhere. I'm looking to give them info somewhere. On attack, I'm looking to get them into sight alive and get them frags. Definitely being like an assist farmer is kind of like what you should be proud of as being a Sova main. Thank you guys so much for watching my agent guide on Sova presented by Microsoft. Let us know down in the comments below what agent you think we should do next and make sure to like and subscribe.